Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 328 residents interpreted this case of calcaneal fracture as one of 65 cases during the 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 1 out of 10 and an overall average score of 2.27 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 7.61. At the same time, 0.06 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be A and B. In this most missed case, 14% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be F and D. In this most missed case, 82% of residents produced reports with critical errors. Three views of the right foot in a 66-year-old woman with acute pain. Uh, there is an acute fracture of the calcaneus with fracture lines extending to the calcaneal cuboid joint as well as possibly to the posterior aspect of the posterior calcaneal facet. Bowler's angle measures approximately 18 degrees, which is minimally decreased. Uh, there's also mild hallux valgus, multifocal degenerative changes, and enthesopathic changes. So this should be given an acuity level of urgent and should be communicated directly to the referring provider. So this is a bit of an eye test, but a radiologist should be expected to pick up this finding. Okay, Many calcaneal fractures are accompanied by a decrease in Bowler's angle, but not all. In other words, a normal Bowler's angle does not exclude the presence of a calcaneal fracture. This type of fracture is due to an axial load and has been called the lover's fracture or the Don Juan fracture, so named because the lover may jump from great heights to avoid discovery by the uninvolved spouse. Um, these fractures are often associated with fractures of the spine as well, so there should be a low threshold for obtaining spine imaging. We want to describe involvement of the articular surfaces, and frequently these patients do receive a CT which can better characterize the articular surface involvement.